to end So these lighter days can soon begin I'll be alone but maybe more carefree Like a kite that floats so effortlessly I was afraid to be alone Hello there everyone on YouTube. This is your Panther lover and Miles Morales fan 2024 here. And welcome back to a brand new monthly triple response video for a brand new month made by me. And also welcome to a brand new alternative season of TPL response season 9, called TPL response season 9B. This alternative season will be starting from today and it will be ending on November 19th. Anyways. Today is November 1st, 2024. Whoa, well, I cannot believe that there is only one more month until we reach into a final month of 2024, December 2024. And then, after that month ends, we will be heading over to January 2025. Whoa, well, time is just flying by very quickly. Oh, and about January 2025, on the first day of that new year. I am going to be playing my new game for PS5, called, Spider-Man No. 2, which includes Spider-Man and Miles Morales, even when Miles Morales is my number one favorite Spider-Man of all time right next to the original one, but in PS5 version. I really cannot wait to try and complete the full story of that game. It may take a several of days or months to complete the full story. But I'll have to complete the main story missions in order to complete the full entire story of the game. And the maximum number of main story missions that I have to complete in it is 17 main story missions. And yes, on my Toshiba TV at the right, I will be sticking on Fortnite. And even when I will still be in Fortnite Chapter 6 in that time, I can spend my hours in a full game of Spider-Man number 2, since I am a biggest fan of Miles Morales, the black and red Spider-Man. And hopefully, I can get enough time to unlock some of the symbiote suit styles for Spider-Man and Miles Morales. It will be really fun to play the new Spider-Man game and check out the new stuff in there. And then, if I did complete the full story of it, in my PS5 game, I can just let Miles Morales hang around in the whole entire building. And I will need to try my best in trying to kill all the bosses that go by the names of, Sandman, Wraith, Lizard, Mr. Negative. Craven the Hunter, Symbiote Spider-Man, Scream, Mysterio, and Venom. And I'll also try to defeat the criminals in the game. And hopefully, I can get enough time to unlock some of the Symbiote suit styles for Spider-Man and Miles Morales. It will be really fun to play the new Spider-Man game and check out the new stuff in there. And then, if I did complete the full story of it, in my PS5 game, I can just let Miles Morales hang around in the whole entire building. Try out the new swinging styles, try out new poses, etc. Oh, and by the way guys, I am only using this username, the Panther Lover and Miles Morales Fan 2024, for today until tomorrow. Because, I have a biggest premiere of November 2024 that is dropping around the corner. And then from November 3rd 2024 to whatever, I will then change it into, your Miles Morales, TikTok. Jasmine and James, and Lunatic Dad fan. Well anyways, what do you all think of this current username for only for two days, today and tomorrow? Please let me know in the comments. Well anyways, now that's the PS5 game for January 2025, Spider-Man number 2 talked about. We will now be talking about the previous month, October 2024, one of my favorite months of all time because of spooky stuff. Whoa. I really, really, really enjoyed October 2024 so so much. It was absolutely splendid. And yes, I will be telling you a story why I absolutely loved October 2024, but this time, in my real life experience. So first off, on October 1st 2024, I had my birthday party. And for my birthday celebration, me, mum, 
Dad, my brother, Nanny, Granddad and my uncle all went into the bowling alley in their taste to pray Gavin, and we did really good in it. And yes, it was me, Mom, Dad, my brother, Granddad and my uncle that were all playing. And me and my brother's nanny was the only one who was watching. And then, after we finished the ten games of bowling, we headed over to Burger King to have dinner in there. And in there, I had a plain Whopper with fries, and an Oreo ice cream. And then at home, we had a slice of my vanilla birthday cake. And yummy yummy. It tasted so sweet, and buttery. On October 2, 2024, I did a very cool prank on my family. And the name of the prank I did was, an open track head prank. We had to stay in our own characters, Stephanie, Andrew, Paul and Sean. And yes, I played Sean, who claimed that he quote unquote, fell off of his bedroom window and quote unquote, cracked his head open, when in reality, he did not. Because, I had to draw some fake blood makeup on my face to get prepared for a prank. On October 4, 2024, I went over into Ergos and Sainsbury's. And in there, I have got an A pound 84.00 Acer PC monitor, A pound 429.99 PlayStation 5 console, and A pound 12.99 Geotech XH100P gaming headset for my PS5. And the total cost of money for those three stuff was A pound 526.98. And I tried my first time on my PS5 long with my Geotech XH100P gaming headset. And already to me, it was absolutely perfect and spot on. I have played The Last of Us Part 2 remastered on my PS5, and I was really good at it. And my favorite character out of that game is, Ellie. And then I tried Fortnite on my PS5, and it was really good. The graphics in it was so smooth. And, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes my number one favorite day of October 2024 right next to October 31st 2024. And this is, October 12th 2024. Yes guys, this was the day I enjoyed the most and it was easily one of my favorite one ever right next to October 31st 2024. Here's how. On that day, there was a Halloween 2024 party at the inside of the parochial hall and I have always attempted to it. And in there, I was dressed up as Miles Morales from the PS4 and PS5 game, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. And I equipped it with a black zip-up hoodie. And oh my goodness, it was absolutely fantastic and incredible. I even did a spider-like landing pose with my Miles Morales costume, and it is definitely my favorite one. And then, on October 21st, I was starting to carve my very big pumpkin. And it looked really good. And the final three days I want to talk about is, October 29th, October 30th, and October 31st, which was yesterday. Well anyway, I'm gonna talk about October 29th. So basically, what happened on that day was that me, mom, dad, and my brother all went out on our Halloween holiday to Bally Castle for Bally Castle's Halloween event. And yes. I watched the fireworks from there, and to me, it was such an amazing experience. I really loved the fireworks. And then, on October 30th, me and my family all went out on another Halloween holiday. But this time, we went over to Curry's Fun Park's Halloween 2024 event in there. And yes, in there, since I found out that ChatGPT said that people who are not only kids, but who are also teenagers and adults can dress up for Halloween. I have decided to dress up for that event. And yes, I dressed up as Miles Morales from that game I have mentioned. And finally, yesterday, which was Halloween 2024, we had our Halloween lunch with our grandparents. And we have a great time in it. And then after that, when it was 3.36 p.m. or 3.38 p.m., we went over into Rushmere Shopping Center in Craig Avenue for their Halloween event. And yes, I spent my time there for 45 minutes. Because I wanted to get enough time for the trick-or-treaters coming. And also, at maybe I think at 7 p.m. or something, me and my family have all went out to a Halloween fun fair event to have fun in there. And yes, just like from the previous Halloween, I was recording the rides in the fun fair. And finally, 
the final part of my time of October 2024, we ended this up by walking to the GF football clip and watched the fireworks in there. And yeah, that was pretty much it. And guys, I was literally feeling very sad after unfortunately leaving the place and back into my house. Why? Because, when this current day started today at 12am, I was very sad that my favorite month of all time, October 2024, came to end. Oh no. I really had tears of sadness, and now I am really gonna miss this year's Halloween so much. No oh 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 This is the main reason why I get very, very sad when it comes to a final hour of October 2024. And now I unfortunately have to wait for the next 11 months for next year's October to come. But heh, at least Christmas 2024 is coming around the corner. That's something that we all shall be excited for. But although Halloween is my number one favorite holiday, I will be still looking forward to Christmas, and the first month of 2025, which is January 2025. So there we have it. That is my story about October 2024, one of my favorite, most liked and beloved month of all time. So for today's alternative season of season 9, which is season 9b, this alternative season will have 19 episodes. And this alternative season's theme is now called, Fall, Slash, Autumnal Leaves. Oh and also, I just want to let you all know that in 20 days, which is November 21st, it is going to be my dad's birthday, which is very exciting. Oh, hold on a second here. I have also forgot about an exciting thing that happened back in October 24th. Well, on October 24th, I went on my day out to the Ritz Multiplex, which is also known as a cinema. And in there, I was watching a new DreamWorks movie that came out back in October 18th, 2024. And it was called, The Wild Robot. And after I watched the whole movie of it, which was 1 hour and 42 minutes long, already to my opinion, it was such a fantastic movie. I loved the graphics and animation to them. It was really good. And the voice actors and actresses in that movie were all very good. Maybe in some day, I can let my family go check out the Ritz Multiplex, because, not only does it have movies to watch, but it also has a gaming area, and plenty more of stuff for people to enjoy. Oh, and also, there's also something that is happening really soon today. At about a few hours or so, I am going to be playing my new PS5 game, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and hopefully I will try to complete the main story. But it's probably going to take either 7 and a half hours, or 8 to 10 hours in order to complete the full story of the game. Well anyways, for today's monthly triple response for November 2024, I will be doing responses on two of its Dark Wolf 2K5's videos, and one of Wise and Yandel Yes Scardi B and Charlie Puth Knows videos. And these videos will go by, it's Dark Wolf 2K5's response on Cheesecake The Yonder's commentary on Pike 6000 The Cheesecake Haters rant on the Foxy the Fox 110 The TPL fan fan base, his slander video. And wise in any end, oh yes, Scardi B and Charlie Puth knows commentary on JJ the Hershey's Chocolate Fan 2006's rant on him. And in this monthly triple response for November 2024, I am portraying as Siren Jahangir. Because I have watched her singing performance back on week 6 of Britain's Got Talent 2020, which started on May 16, 2020 and she got through to the semi-final of it in the third semi-final series which started on September 19, 2020, and she was so good. Her singing was really beautiful. Well now, let us now begin the monthly triple response for November 2024 by starting off by doing responses on two of its Dark Wolf 2K5's videos. Hello everyone, it's Dark Wolf here, and welcome to Dark Wolf Responds Season 1, Episode 31. And you know what? Forget the title. And also, this response was requested by Pike6000, the Cheesecake Hater. Now let's get started. I don't remember inviting you here intro. Foxy the Fox 110 TPL fans toxic fanbase. 
I doubt her fan base is actually toxic. Well, bud, her fan base is actually toxic. No, it is not. Her fan base is actually healthy. Because, what the fans of Foxy are doing is defending her from her hate and users who always make lies and excuses about her. And that doesn't make her fan base look straight up toxic. Oh my god. This fan base is super toxic. One, these people get so ass hurt and attack people whenever we do commentaries on her videos. Looks like someone just showed a great example of being a hypocrite right there. Looks like someone is a Let me put this part into a pause right there. This is Britney Spears speaking to you. And I already know what you are trying to do. You are about to use the jumping to conclusions term in the wrong context. Like come on. You need to know that that is not a real meaning of jumping into conclusions. Because, according to ChatGPT, jumping to conclusions is a cognitive bias where someone reaches a judgment or decision without sufficient evidence or reasoning. So next time, I suggest that you do some research of that term. Let's skip this part and continue. Because, whenever we make commentaries on you or Lee, your fan bases just suddenly come out of nowhere and attack us just for doing commentaries on you and Lee. So well, who cares? They're just criticizing you for attacking Leah. Bullshit! This fucking bullshit! Oh, you can't be talking. Well, bud, you shouldn't be talking either because you support a pen. Oh, no, you don't, you slander. This is me, Nell Fairfax from Emmerdale, speaking to you. Are you about to slander someone as a pedophile? Bro, you should know damn well that the user that you hate is not even a pedophile. Because they are not sexually attracted to kids, and never did pedophilia, or anything that makes them a so-called pedophile. Let's just skip this part. Two, they always deny the truth about Foxy's actions 24-7. All Foxy has done was just small mistakes. Wrong. What Foxy did was mistakes. Which can easily be forgiven. Because they are very minor. And we don't deny anything. That's honestly a lie. Because y'all deny everything that's true about Foxy. Bro, what Cheesecake was saying there was not a lie. It was literally the truth. We don't deny anything. Unlike what you always do. And no, you all never speak any truth about Foxy. Like, literally at all. You're just making things up. STOP THE CAP! 3. They call us slanderers for calling Foxy a pedophile. Well, there is actually no evidence of Foxy being a pedo, and- Well, Felina Wizard confirmed Foxy's still a pedo. Oh no you don't you slander. This is me. Nell Fairfax from Emmerdale speaking to you. Are you about to slander someone as a pedophile? Bro, you should know damn well that the user that you hate is not even a pedophile. Because they are not sexually attracted to kids, and never did pedophilia, or anything that makes them a so-called pedophile. Let's just skip this part. Called evidence is obviously fake. You can't handle the truth! Since we are smart enough to not fall for her haters' lies. Well, we're not lying about her. We're simply calling her out on her bullshit and speaking the fucking truth about her. Bullshit! This fucking bullshit! When we are not slandering her, she actually- <laughs> For they never mind their own business. You can't be talking, since you also don't mind your own business either. I honestly have nothing to say for that part, but let's continue. Hypocrite. Go spray your eyes with pepper spray, you little-minded prick with IQ of negative one quadrillion. Pepper spray threats don't work. No shit, Sherlock. Okay, so put your... And where's your proof we attacked Foxy's haters? Well, duh, y'all share our community tab posts each time we say something about Foxy. That counts as attacking. Are you stupid? The fact that some one of my friends share your posts about Foxy the Fox 110 the TPL fan is not attacking. The reason why they share your posts is to call you out on your stupid bullshit lies and excuses about her. So therefore, it is not attacking. Oh wait, you don't have any, since you have absolutely no evidence we attack her haters. 
All we are doing is just giving them real constructive criticism for- LIAR! He ain't lying. He is speaking the truth. We actually do give the users that had Foxy the Fox 110 the TPL fan real positive criticism, and never attack them all for hating her. But anyways, that is the end of the rant. Goodbye. I don't have anything for you outro. Wow, that video sucked. Anyways, that's the end of the response. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe and I'm ending it right here. Goodbye. Well, that response video of his was just trash in my opinion. Well anyways, this is the end of the first video I'm doing a response on for the monthly triple response for November 2024. And now, let's move on to the next video, which is on its Dark 2K5 Slander video. Because, Jay Kaiser would never act like that when he quote unquote, fricked his career up. And plus, Jay Kaiser didn't even frick up his career. Thus, you have no proof of how he quote unquote, fricked up his career. That is a load of bullshit right there. Because, I would never paint myself as a clown. Plus. I don't even act like a clown, unlike what you always do. Bullshit! There's fucking bullshit! Because, Oxy would never act like that whenever someone slanders her as a pedophile. And plus, that is because that that is slandering. Because Foxy is never ever a pedophile. And will never be. Bullshit! There's fucking bullshit! Sometimes kill. It's bullshit! Because, you and your friends are not gigacads at all. Me and my friends are the ones that are gigacads. Man, the slander video out of me and my friends was so lame. Because he came up with excuses about me and my friends. No, I am not talking about the ones I hate, such as Vinny, Jerry the Gaming Guy 2001, Joey Negro, Slash Craft, and Sir Arkski 123 the copyright strike abuser. I'm talking about the ones I like, such as Foxy the Fox 110 the TPL fan, Jay Kaiser, Michael the Flash themes guy, and Shark Rocks. So anyways, this is the end of the second video that I am doing the response on for the monthly triple response for November 2024. And now, let us now move on to the final video, which is on Wise and Anyandal Yes Cardi B and Charlie Puth knows commentary on JJ the Hersey's Chocolate Fan 2006's rant on him. Man, we're bored. Me too, Matter Bracer, what should we do, Jesus? Well, Matter Bracer and Sunny Day, yes, Game of Thrones, no. It happened. JJ the Hershey Chocolate 2006 ranted on me with invalid reasons. Oh no. Not JJ the Hershey Chocolate 2006 as well. A 
no. JJ the Hershey Chocolate Fan 2006 is up to no good again. Let's roast him. Wizen and Yundel yes Cardi B and Charlie Puth no, or I should say, Wizen Wizen and Yundel yes Cardi B and Charlie Puth no the bully. Was that really the best mob name that you ever come up with? Because the name is so cringe. Says the guy who also comes with mock names in his rant videos. This user sucks. Correction. I'm going to explain my 18 reasons why this user sucks. Oh great. Here we go again with the invalid reasons. 1. He bullies people with autism. And he did the right thing. <laughs> Are you out of your damn mind? Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? He had absolutely no rights to bully people with autism, you biggest dumbass. Bullying people with autism is very disrespectful to the ones with autism, just like me. For example, he bullies Jay Kaiser by making grounded videos out of him. Which grounded videos out of users are cyberbullying? Hey, stop right here you annoying person. This is me, Static Revenge speaking to you. Are you about to use the filthy Frank clips? Bro, you should know that by using those clips is getting very very annoying, and the fact that you use filthy Frank clips shows proof that you treat those clips like they are gifts from God. Let us now skip this part. And he also bully by making bad videos out of me just to make me feel uncomfortable. Like serious. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! The worst thing about this is that he made a video where someone sliced my fingers off. And he also made another one where someone sliced my private parts off. Seriously. Shut up! Get, but he deleted these videos to avoid criticism. But I have evidence to show it. No. We're skipping the proof. You can't handle the truth! He is a pedophile. Why is that? Well, he makes shipping videos out of minor users. For example, he made an X shipping video out of Arena the Kawaii Candy Girl 2007 and Joshua the MHAN Puyo Puyo fan, and I'm gonna show proof. No, we're skipping the proof again. You can't handle the truth! And also, we're skipping the next part. You can't handle the truth! 4. He is an opinion basher, like he bashed my opinion on Little Bill. That's my choice. Are you seriously out of your mind, mister? Bashing someone's opinion on something they like or hate is not a choice, you dumbass. Bashing opinions is very serious, and it is not a very good thing to do. Instead, you should handle opinions. Bash Michael the Flash Themes guy's opinion on the cut ties with user term. Like he said, that's his choice. And like I said. Bashing someone's opinion on something they like or hate is not a choice. Bashing opinions is very serious, and it is not a very good thing to do. Instead, he needs to handle opinions. 5. He likes to bring up Jay Kaiser's past. And I did the right thing. Bringing up Jay Kaiser's past is the good thing because he makes terrible videos. Bro, you should realize that Jay Kaiser does not deserve to have his past brought up, because he stopped doing all the awful stuff he did. And no, you did not do the right thing to do that. Bringing up people's past is not good. 12. He calls Michael the Flash Themes guy Mikako. It's his choice. Well, that doesn't mean that he has to call Michael by the Zico term because he is using the word Kiko in the wrong context because Zuko means a happy person in Japanese 
13. His commentaries are the worst. Correction. 14. The worst thing is that he told me to suck his blood. 16. He calls me a fat retarded in one of his commentaries, which I got offended by that because I'm autistic and sensitive. Hey, stop right here you annoying person, this is me, Static Revenge speaking to you. Are you about to use the filthy Frank clips? Bro, you should know that by using those clips is getting very very annoying, and the fact that you use filthy Frank clips shows proof that you treat those clips like they are gifts from God. Let us now skip this part. 17. He wishes users he hates an unhappy birthday. And he did the right thing. No he didn't you Hamas. Because, wishing someone an unhappy birthday is rude and heartless. Anyway these are the reasons why Wizen and Yundel yes Cardi B and Charlie Puth no sucks. Anyways, I hope that- Hey, stop by day you bad guy. This is Johnny Soda speaking. Are you trying to- Stop it right there. Are you about to show your hypocrisy? Wow, you're just making this more funny for us. Let's skip this part. Who likes this user? Sparkly the nice girl, Thomas Baker, and other Wizen and Yundel yes Cardi B and Charlie Puth no toxic fan base. We agree with Sparky the nice girl. I bet they like to watch this user bullies people. With autism, like me and Jay Kaiser for an example, which it's unacceptable to bully people with autism because autism is not a joke. Hey, stop right here you annoying person, this is me, Static Revenge speaking to you. Are you about to use the filthy Frank clips? Bro, you should know that by using those clips is getting very very annoying, and the fact that you use filthy Frank clips shows proof that you treat those clips like they are gifts from God. Let us now skip this part. It's a serious thing. Who hates this user? Hey, stop right here you annoying person. This is me, Static Revenge speaking to you. Are you about to use the filthy Frank clips? Bro, you should know that by using those clips is getting very very annoying, and the fact that you use filthy Frank clips shows proof that you treat those clips like they are gifts from God. Let us now skip this part. You know what? I'm ending here. Man. This rant suck massive ultra mega time. And JJ the Hershey Chocolate Fan 2006. If you're seeing this, don't comment or share fuck you. Otherwise you're doing the exactly same shit as Christmas Yes Sunny Day Knows 2020. And don't you ever bring Joshua the MHA and PFN in this, otherwise you'll face the consequences back in 2023. Here outro. Take those tickets to the Dodgers game because I'm not in the good mood. Oh my god, this commentary of his really sucked. Because he kept on denying the truth. So anyways, this is the end of the final video for my monthly triple response for November 2024. And this means, this is now the end of the monthly triple response for November 2024. I really hope you enjoyed it. And now, starting next month, it will be the very final monthly triple response. Because, in two months, in January 2025, I will now start my monthly quadruple response. Well anyways, I will now see you all next time in my next response episode, starting tomorrow. Farewell. Happy first day of November 2024, and now, I am now going to go and play my new PS5 game, Spider-Man, Miles Morales.